Welcome to a new episode playing Call of Duty Mobile and talking about renewable energy. We will today have a closer look at wind turbines. You can see the nuclear power plant on the left hand side we've already talked about. On the right hand side this new vision city. But what we will do today is let's talk about wind energy. Photovoltaics, you can see the wind park over there close to the ecology lab and we'll talk about uh, hydrogen so how to use wind power or solar power to generate uh, or to get hydrogen the gas for storing so let's jump onto this wind turbine you see we are right on the generator you see the rotor blades the length typically or 50 meters at least. Um, let's first grab a weapon before we meet under uh, other place. You see the shadow of this wind turbine or this rotor blade moving. A couple of wind turbines uh, across the hills. And yeah, wind, it's a clean renewable energy source, a cheap one. Uh, Little less cost of electricity. So, what are the costs for just one? unit of electricity one kilowatt hour is about four or even five cents so that's a cheap one uh, what we do is we, we use the uh, the wind so the movement of the atmosphere uh, let's grab the motorcycle and go to the next location get closer to the tower of the wind turbine yeah, so we use the uh, the wind uh, that drives the turbine. Um, we get a rotation of the generator and get electricity. What you can see here, to be honest, I don't know what these buildings are uh, in detail, but I think that are uh, systems for the um, for generating or for the electrolysis of um, hydrogen. So that we use electricity. Oh, wait a minute. There's someone. Where are you? Oh, there. We the with the dogs. Perfect. Um, yeah, that is the idea of future energy system with uh, no greenhouse gas emissions. That we use uh, hydrogen as a gas. Uh, idea is or concept is called power to gas that uh, during intervals with uh, more electricity from wind turbines or PV systems then consume we can use this additional energy to um, do the electrolysis so we take water and electricity and split the water into hydrogen and oxygen Let's go to the next location or drive to the next location. Uh, at the bottom of the hill there should be a PV system. We should also have a closer look. Yeah, but what is it, the idea? We use the um, the production of um, energy by wind and PV to generate green hydrogen. We can store and we can reuse um, as a process gas. So here, let's grab the sniper rifle. Okay, so here there a small PV system um, with four small solar modules uh, generating direct current, and probably here uh, at the bottom. You can see the inverter that this device is converting the direct current to alternating current that we Friendly could feed away in a minute. Oh, thanks to the dogs. Okay. Uh, that uh, this alternating current is fed into the grid, or in this case, this is an island system so that. You can use these PV modules 
to feed this small location with electric energy. That might be interesting for deserts, for example, or small uh, systems which don't have access to the electric grid. Um, let's go and ride to another location. Yeah, the, and PV and wind, you can see again the wind turbines. That will be uh, the most important part of our future energy system um, that we can use. So let's, let's grab this airdrop over there. Um, airdrop. That we will rely on wind and PV. Oh, goddamn. We have to move. That uh, we use both of these systems together with hydrogen, uh, hydropower, sorry, we've we talked to in the last episode, to have a clean and reliable energy source. Both or all three renewable systems are reliable, although they depend on the weather conditions. Uh, we need the wind, we need the solar radiation, of course. Uh, that, of course, is always an issue compared to coal or nuclear power plants. But they are very fast and easy to install. Uh, they are very modular, so you can install small systems, small PV systems on, uh, on the rooftop systems, on a commercial building or on households. And even the installation of a wind turbine with a capacity of uh, two, three, five, seven megawatts is fast, easy to install. Uh, in this case, here you have these onshore wind turbines, so they are mounted on the land. And uh, wait a minute, just look at the map. And they are, of course, offshore systems. They are installed in the sea, which more reliable uh, weather or wind conditions. Uh, hub height, so the height uh, from the ground to the generator is uh, 100, 130, even 150 meters. So these systems are getting larger and larger. Uh, the higher the systems are, the more general energy they can generate. So that is uh, very helpful um, if you Airdrop want to incoming. get as much energy from the wind as possible. Uh, let's try to get back to our safe zone. Airdrop has been delivered. Um, yeah, but that's... That, that are the systems of the future. They are cheap. Wind PV just, or wind or PV photovoltaics just four or five cents per kilowatt hour. So compared to a nuclear power plant, the uh, cost of electricity are at 15 cents. So three to four times higher than wind or PV. And that is the reason why we should rely on wind on and photovoltaics, but we need storage. We've talked in the last episode about a pump storage hydropower plant, so using hydropower and the potential energy. And again, you can see the uh, electrolysis so that we use the, the concept of power to gas. Gotcha. Yeah, this part of gas concept because we can store this the hydrogen or even generate uh, synthetic electrical gas, so methane. Uh, that's a second step um, in this process. There's no difference between fossil natural gas and uh, green natural gas. But, but that will be the future. Having photovoltaics, having wind power, as the source for electricity or electrical power. And then store. I want to go on to the sill. Perfect. And then we use the uh, storage batteries, of course, um, electric cars as a storage, as a moving storage. Oh, see someone. Just a box. 
There's some shooting and there's a helicopter. Okay, better weapon. Let's check what the what's going on here. There was some shooting. Uh, safe zone is getting closer. Airdrop has been delivered. Okay. Someone's over there. Let's have a look. Friendly canine unit in Send the dogs. Cautious. There are at least two guys, I think. But I can't see anyone. Oh, there's one. Perfect. Oh, still two guys. Friendly canine unit incoming. Airdrop incoming. Let's send the dogs. Okay, grenade. Uh, we need to. Airdrop has been delivered. Check the situation. But there's no one. Uh, let's first clear the situation and then continue talking about renewable energy systems. It's on the left hand side. Where are you? Situation is not that easy. We need to be really cautious. Where are you? Show yourself. Oh, oh. Uh, we need to leave. Okay, safe. Friendly canine unit incoming. Let's Chip terminal is almost ready. Set the docks again. Mm -hmm. Where are you? And the safe zone is shrinking. Let's Oh, there! Oh. Airdrop has been delivered. Oh, reloading. Okay, we need to leave. Friendly canine unit incoming. Keep him busy with the dogs, and now we have to run, 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 run. But we should be safe. Hurry, 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 hurry. Let's get to this research facility. safe. Anyone's near? I don't think so. Okay, so for the interruption, busy minutes. What 
so how will our energy oh. okay got you so how will our energy system look like in the future photovoltaic wind because they are the cheapest systems which we can install very fast and then storage pump tile storage um, batteries as i said and then hydrogen as a gas we can store we can transport uh, by ship or whatever we can use the hydrogen in ships and planes and because they we won't use the electric planes that won't work probably because the batteries are too heavy oh that's a nice box i need again to be cautious get some armor okay yeah but but that is the idea that we we use these renewable energy sources to get rid of greenhouse gas emissions we won't rely oh, wait we won't rely on nuclear power that is what i wanted to say but let's wait a minute Okay. We should fix it, hopefully. Friendly canine unit incoming. Let's use the dogs again. The safe zone is collapsing. Oh, there. Okay. Last one. Yeah, and we, we see this development globally that China, US, even Europe are installing a lot of PV systems and wind turbines um, as they are so cheap. Still, we rely on. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's it. Yeah, still, we rely on fossil fuels, but I think the future is bright. We'll do this, uh, I think. Um, so, let's see what the future will bring. So, thanks for watching. See you the next time. Bye bye.